Hey, what's going on, science and cooking class? Greg, one of your TFs here. Um, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about solid nitrogen. Um, that's what you're seeing a picture of here, solid nitrogen. Um, so if you remember in Dave Arnold's lecture, he, uh, he actually made solid nitrogen. What he did was he, um, he poured in liquid nitrogen into a beaker or a test tube, and then he put a tube on it and attached it to a machine, and the machine made a bunch of noise. It sucked out a bunch of the air, and the... Um, liquid nitrogen became solid nitrogen. And while he was doing that, uh, he mentioned something called evaporative cooling. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to answer the question, what is evaporative cooling? So you know about uh, vapor. Um, you know, uh, when you get coffee or something, um, you have evaporation. The vapor is um, some of the water molecules leaving. Um, and so uh, you know that things are getting cooler. This is, there is some sort of evaporative cooling. Um, because, you know, it's really scaldingly hot when you first get it, and then, you know, eventually it's drinkable, and then it's disgustingly cold. Um, and so uh, I want to uh, think a little bit more scientifically about what this evaporative cooling, how it works. So, okay, so let's say you have your liquid. It's tea or coffee or water or something like that. And um, so what's going on inside of here? Um, so you have a bunch of um, just water particles, you know, just water molecules bouncing around. I'll just draw them as these uh, dots with little arrows on them because they're just moving around, bouncing in different directions. Um, and so there's some slow moving ones, but also um, let's draw some faster moving ones. So I'll draw them as uh, bigger pink area arrows because they have a bigger velocity. So you got these big pink arrows and maybe a big pink arrow, which is a quick moving water molecule bounce into one of these slower moving ones and then it becomes a big moving water molecule or a fast moving water molecule. And so uh, they're all bouncing around and when you're inside the liquid over he down here, it's just, um, you know, they're kind of all just bustling about and nothing really interesting happens. But what happens if you're up here by the surface? So for example, if you have one of these slow moving water molecules by the surface and he starts to move up. What happens there? Well, gravity's fighting him back down, but also don't forget you have um, air particles. So there's some air particles just bouncing about in all these different directions. Um, and maybe one of these air particles comes and it hits into the water molecule and um, the water molecule just bounces back in. And that happens a lot. Um, but if instead of having one of the slow moving water molecules uh, you have one of the fast ones, and he starts moving in this direction, then um, you know it, it could be going faster than the air particles, and the air particles, if they go and they bounce into it, it doesn't really affect it that much, and it, it can escape. And uh, so a bunch of the fast-moving water molecules can just escape. They're all escaping. And then, so now they're up here in the air, and uh, and that's that's your vapor. It's the... the um, water molecules that were moving really quickly near the surface. And so since these fast moving water molecules are now escaping and the slow ones are still in the, the liquid, uh, the average temperature goes down. There's less energy in there because the energetic particles left. Now what did Dave Arnold do? Um, Dave Arnold, he closed this thing off, so he took some tube or something like that, and he closed it off and then he made a made a vacuum out here so he started sucking uh, he, he sucked out all the air particles so all these air particles now get get sucked out and so um, what happens is that um, the fast moving particles the vapor that was up here um, it now is being sucked out and so there's not as mu much stuff going on down here there, there aren't these um, air particles they're gone and there aren't these guys that are all being sucked out. So that makes it easier for the fast moving particles to escape. And it also, some of the slower moving particles will also escape, but still more of the fast ones will escape. And so you're doing the same thing as before. You're cooling, except for now it's just easier because there's nothing in the way really here. Um, and um, so, so they escape and so they just uh, it cools quicker. And so um, you can cool down the the, so the liquid nitrogen and it can become solid nitrogen. Um, okay, so there's just one last thing I want to show you and it's a cool little applet um, about evaporative cooling. So uh, what I'm showing here is this is just a freeze frame of a bunch of uh, fast moving particles in a little bucket here or a beaker 
and um, and so they're they're really hot. And I'm gonna hit play in a second, and we're gonna see what happens. Um, and by the way, um, so this little arrow here is the temperature, which kind of is telling you the average energy of what's of uh, all the particles here in the beaker. And so um, so we'll see what happens to this this hot bunch of particles um, when we let them bounce around. Okay, look at the temperature. It's it's going down because the um, all the fast moving particles are escaping. And so um, what we have going on here. So there aren't um, any uh, air particles here, but you still have gravity keeping these guys down. And um, so the fast moving particles uh, have enough energy to uh, to beat that gravity and and escape. And so. Um, you can you know play with this thing a little bit. You can you know take the URL here and play with it a little bit. Um, the, this is actually an applet for something called uh, Bose-Einstein condensate, but don't worry about that. Uh, the important thing is that this thing is getting cooler, and so the hot particles are escaping, and we have evaporative cooling, and you can play with the size of the beaker. Um, and so these guys are um, these guys are leaving, and so it's kind of fun to play with it and watch the temperature go down as things evaporate or you can get sick of this whole business and just get rid of all the particles too and uh, and be done anyway it's been a good time uh, thanks for listening and if you have any questions uh, feel free to email me thanks a lot